Good morning. This is Dr. Bill White, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit this morning in this video about brackets. That we had a, another video that we just discussed bands and the advantage of bands and the advantage of brackets. And I wanted you to know that I actually think I could come up with about uh, 30 uh, advantages that band brackets have over bands. I mean, it is on. Uh, it is so much better doing orthodontics with brackets. And so, if there's any question in any of your minds, uh, that's my opinion. After many years, and I've used brackets for a long time. They did have a few advantages. You could use them for the whole bite plate out in front, uh, but that's not much. Now, uh, the inventory is a big benefit. You just need one bracket for one tooth. So you don't need a whole set of trays of uh, bands like we used to have for each tooth. You'd have to have about 20 or 30 different bands to fit that particular tooth. So that was a, a big uh, disadvantage. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's get into this case. This uh, case has a lot of interesting things in it, and I'll try to bring those out, and we'll talk about the benefits of the brackets over the bands uh, in that uh, respect. Uh, this is a very nice young lady. It's a, a daughter of one of the uh, pastors of church where I used to go, and I did this just uh, seemed like it was gratis or something. Anyway, it was a very nice patient, and uh, she was very cooperative, and she had some uh, several problems that you will just uh, touch on as we uh, go through the case. Uh, good face, no problem with uh, excessive height or anything. The face, this is good all the way down and uh, so we're gonna <coughs> excuse me I'll probably stop up here this morning before I get going good but she had a class 2 division 2 anterior part of the mouth with a virtually a class 1 or is nearly class 1 back in the molar area but class 2 division 2 in the anterior part and so she's got a, a deep bite, a lot of things here you can see. I don't even have to uh, <coughs> tell you, uh, but <coughs> excuse me, she uh, has this terrible deep bite, and a person can't actually chew good with her deep bite. They just chew straight up and down. This was a lot of problems in that, and uh, she had some root resorption or not root resorption I was, uh, that's wrong it's just that the upper centrals did not develop good roots they just had little short roots that came out here and uh, I, I've got videos on her uh, several years before we actually started the orthodontics and uh, these roots on the centrals just uh, developed about halfway and then they stopped and uh, this was in back 6 11 or 90 I think when we actually started the case uh, okay and we've got this deep bite now when you look at it across here uh, these teeth are just almost straight across here and the lower teeth fit right up underneath here and the they come up a pretty high on the backs of the upper anterior teeth. I'm going to take a picture looking in from this direction. Uh, I'll show you on the models. You can't you can't get one of those um, in the mouth. <laughs> I guess you got some special kind of camera. Uh, anyway, uh, she's still in the mixed dentition. So here's some 
deciduous molars back here and just about to come out of the uh, mixed dentition. So that's the point where we are. We've got one deciduous molar over here. The other one is gone and this is lined up and it's nearly class one. And uh, you can see this on the model better. Now this side is, I would say, a good class one because when this baby tooth goes, this tooth will drop back into this point and go right down in that area and you've got uh, even the six keys occlusion there. But we have class two division two type anterior part of the mouth with a deep bite out there. And one of the disadvantages of bands, I mean of uh, brackets, is that you can't put brackets on these teeth when they have this deep bite because they'll knock them off. But on the, the other case, we just put the brackets on there and they chewed on the brackets and they kind of served as a bite plate. And we didn't bother with putting bite plates in a lot of them like that. They just let them bite on the brackets until the bite open. So I'm going to come in first uh, I'll put a, a regular arch wire in here and then I'm going to have an intruding arch that comes down and hooks on these and starts picking them up. And one thing I wanted to bring out is that we move these teeth so fast and it did not have any damage that I could ever tell on the teeth. And I followed her uh, several years after that and uh, found absolutely no uh, ill effect on the uh, roots of the teeth that I could tell from x-ray. And so we're going to start this case, I think, in 8, 6 of 90. And uh, we go along now looking in from the back side of the uh, model uh, the lower anterior teeth came almost up to the gum tissue back here but not real deep some of them we get they actually got imprints in the gum up at the top you know but these lower anterior teeth are right up against the backs of the upper anterior teeth and that locks the jaw back in that position so if somebody has a TMJ problem and the jaw is moving back here and pressing on the retrodiscal tissue. If you open the bite, push these down and these others up, uh, the jaw can move forward and it'll just go forward on its own. And usually it will solve the TMJ problem that many people have like that. So we'll go on and look. Now, we put this intruding wire you see this wire that looks like it's bent down here actually it would go up like that now that's a round wire but a springy wire this other one a little wildcat wire and this was back in 90 uh, you could put a an 016 uh, nighti wire on there and do the same same thing and we just attached it to these four anterior teeth out here and as we went over the cuspid this was pushing right down on this so we put some material in here to kind of pad it a little bit and wired that up on that area and I want you to watch what happened to these teeth and the time it happened and the young lady wasn't complaining about them being sore or anything to show you how speedy you can level a bite with these intruding arches in there. Now brackets made it possible to do this. If I'd have had to go in and put bands on these teeth, then this would have enlarged the arch and it would have pushed these teeth out and you would have had uh, 
to be starting from a different point, just putting the separators in is a big problem. I mean, you've got uh, spaces, quite a bit of space between every tooth in the arch, and so it enlarges the arch quite a bit and changes the torque on them. Well, you don't have that uh, going on during the uh, brackets and these are little tiny brackets and they give me a large inner bracket space and you can bend the wire and do more uh, where you've got a, a large inner bracket space and in between here see okay let's go on to the next uh, deal <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry to get choked up here in the morning. All right, this is this intruding wire now that goes up like this, and we pull it down and tie it to these teeth. And this is on 8, 6, and 90. Now let's uh, watch this move now. Okay. Looking at it from down here, we brought the wire back and attached it down on the central. I, can't, I thought I had it attached to both centrals. Surely I did. Uh, and anyway, that's the day we started it was six, 8, 6, and 90. And we've got these two deciduous teeth in there. Now, and the bottom, is we had nothing except they had the bands on the teeth waiting so as soon as we got the upper teeth out of the way we would start the bottom part down here <coughs> okay and there it is again eight six of ninety uh, so here it is now nine eleven of ninety which was one month and about uh, five days after we started the case, and look where these teeth are. One month later, she came back and uh, had no discomfort with the teeth at all, no, did no complaint. I'm sure they were very tender right here, but those teeth have moved completely away from the other teeth. Uh, here and I've got several other views of this. There's where it was when we started, and you see where it moved to. In other words, those anterior teeth moved out somewhere along here in just one month. And you can use these intruding arches, they stick them on top of the other arch the day you start, you see. And you'll have a case leveled while somebody with just one arch wire trying to get it something big enough to do this can get started on it, you know. And these little curved arch wires they have that don't do the job like that. So this is, we started 8, 6, and 90, and this is one month and five days later. It looked like that. Now we've got it completely away from these teeth. Now we can go in and bracket the other teeth. And this is an advantage of brackets. And uh, there's so many advantages, uh, it's hard to uh, say. I used to have to take my thumb and shove the bands on the teeth. And this was before we had gloves. But you, you, my thumb had a calluses on it where it had been cut or just a little bit of cutting or pushing the band down on the teeth. And if you did very many cases and band a couple of cases a day or something like that, my thumbs were just more than uh, tougher than a, a guitar player's <laughs> fingers, I think. So anyway, we're... Uh, moving on with it that way. Now here it is, 9, 11, 90, and this is straightened out like that. And uh, this is the young lady, and here she is a little bit more. Now, as you'll notice that we developed the upper teeth 
and it brought them out in just a short time we had it out there and then we went in well I started I think the uh, lower uh, teeth putting the brackets and I've got an intruding wire here it's a rectangular one and we're expanding with the regular deal and we are opening the biter leveling it out uh, with this and if I would had to do this with bands it would have been hard to put the bands on in other words just making the space for the bands was a, a big problem you had to put all these uh, separators or plastics uh, rings in there separating their teeth to do that now here is this intruding wire down here it's rectangular I made it too long so I just uh, shortened it and uh, here it is it comes out has this these loops and then drops down like this and we bring it up and hook it to these teeth and it takes this down and this pays for it by going up but she's chewing on this and so you see very little change in the six year molars and we've harped on that so much that I think everybody will know that and this is another good view of the intruding arch and we're expanding to get this through there now that these teeth are out of the way we have plenty of room for this tooth to come through and all this now if you're banding uh, which you probably would have done like we did here I just put brackets on these two teeth and open this and now when I get this coming through I'll put the bracket in the right position you know up it'll be here so it'll bring this incisal edge down with these other incisal edges over here uh, that's another advantage of brackets in other words you can go up and down the tooth wherever you want to but a band is made to fit a tooth you know it kind of cups in or stops at the edge here somewhere and the uh, same way back on molars the bands are made to fit at a certain spot but brackets you could just go up and down the tooth wherever you want to if it's a convexed tooth surface and you lower the bracket then you're going to change the torque would go out this way it'd go out this way it'd go out this way so the torque uh, changes and this is negative torque in other words if you uh, get up close to the top on the tooth in other words you've added a negative torque to it if I bend no this would be a it would be torque in the tooth if you go up but if you go down with the bracket it is a negative torque in other words it would tend to tend this to move this tooth back in this direction if you put the bracket lower on a convex tooth now <clears throat> a straight tooth just a plain straight tooth it would make the difference but most teeth have some kind of convex curvature to them so when you lower the bracket you decrease the torque in the tooth and uh, that's you have to think about that a little bit now I like to lower my brackets on adults I get them down real low where you they don't even the people don't see them when they talk uh, unless they pull their lower lip down a lot uh, they won't even see them uh, so here we are with these brackets are pretty low too see they're they're down here and it doesn't make any difference I can put them wherever I want to I just have to know that the torque will be slightly different so I can put a band on back here and go downhill with the arch wire and coming up that way where you hardly will see this with a person talking they might show this much now you tend to show more your upper brackets than you do your lower brackets that's just a 
little benefits on the side. So here it is, 10 of 91, and we've got this young lady well on the way. And you can see this is, we had this straightened up before she lost these upper teeth and got these upper bicuspids in. And that's another thing, you don't have to mess up the contact point with the separators and the band and all that and move it out. And uh, you can just let this tooth come in with just enough space and then put a bracket on it. And you don't have to worry about spreading it out. So there's, uh, there's just a lot of uh, good advantages uh, for uh, brackets. I just can't say enough. And the, one of the main blessings of brackets is that you do not have to guess at what torque you want the teeth to be in when you get through. But when you're in bands, you've got to expand the arch more than you think it needs. And then when you take these bands off, you close all that space and you lose a lot of the torque that you had and you better hope you had more than you need. And the case that I showed earlier, it didn't finish with quite as much torque as I would like for it to have. And I had more than I wanted when I took the bands off. But you take, you go between all these teeth with two layers of metal, and then you come in with two layers of cement between every tooth in there and you have a lot of space in there and so it's going to change the torque when you take the bands off but taking the brackets you don't so you can bring mother in or the family or whoever <laughs> is interested in say, is this what you like is this the way you want it because this is the way it's going to be and so you get them just like you want them and you have no space between the teeth and you take an impression of it and immediately build a retainer that goes on there and it'll stay pretty much like you've got it if they stay with the retainer. That's a proper retainer now. I don't like these little suck down things that don't allow the teeth to come together teeth need to come together to really finish properly and uh, those little plastic shells do not allow that they're just as thick in the back as they are in the front and the jaw is not the same way back there and uh, so that makes them hit more back here and not as much in the front and the occlusal height of the teeth is uh, very so I do not a hole with the suck down retainers as being good but they are so cheap and easy to use that in these cases where they just pay so much to do it and the guy to come out on the case uh, just has to put them in retainers like that but don't let people uh, mislead you that is not the best type of retainer all right here we are We've got it in rectangular wire now, and we're going to go ahead and finish this. Now I'm going to go back and try to cover some of these x-rays and show you. Uh, this is uh, early on in the case. This is 1986, I believe, up here, and she's about eight years old. And I went back and looked at the roots on these centrals. And they were about along here. And the laterals hadn't even come in, so I couldn't tell them. But the centrals were in good, but they had short roots on them at this point right here. And this was 1986. Now, uh, in the next uh, Panorex I took was 1988. Uh, well, I don't know. I had a number two in there somewhere, but this is number three, and she's 10 years old or nearly 11 years old. And look at the dubbed-off roots 
Even this, the laterals were nearly normal, but the centrals had these little short, short roots on them. And uh, so I started the case knowing, and I was going to watch these very close as we went, and I did. I kept a close eye on those teeth, and we're not ready to start her yet. Uh, with the, uh, the finishing orthodontics. Now here it is, 91, and the her, she's 13, 10, she's almost 14 years old, and we've started it and leveled everything out, but the root structure on the centrals is virtually the same as it was. Now, this is good when you're banding teeth that have short roots and you have to do all this terrific pushing on these bands to get them in place and separate them it's a real strain on the the short root that you have but bonding a bracket on them doesn't bother them at all so that's another uh, good advantage that you have and putting uh, brackets on. Okay, here we have uh, virtually finished the case, and you can see the roots are virtually the same. There's just very little. Laterals pretty normal, but the centrals were just short. <coughs> now, uh, going back, now I'm going to run through the, uh, this is the way it was in uh, 11 of 90, that was uh, after we opened the bite. Now here we are expanding and bringing the tooth into that area, and we've got the intruding wire and everything on the lower. I'm going to run through these pretty quick. We've uh, seen several of these. We're pretty well finished now with the lower uh, arch. We've got both uh, first and second molars banded and everything's looking good there uh, here we are later on down there's no big deal to show you this but this is 1992 now she is uh, maturing and she's still got a good vertical height of the face everything's going good right through here and we finished this young lady up. I'm sorry, I, that was back when we took photographs and I couldn't go back and shoot that over. That's one of the big advantages of uh, uh, these modern cameras. They're so much better and everything. You know, we've opened her eyes and you can see the teeth and the way they are. <clears throat> and this is this is the finished thing. We've taken the upper teeth out of the brackets. And this is the very best advantage of brackets. It alone is worth going from bands to brackets. You can finish the case exactly like you want it. And the person can look at it and to say, this is what I like. I want it this way. And you take the archway out and take a impression of it and the teeth don't have a chance to move any and you put the archway back in but you take the model and take the brackets off and you leave the tooth virtually like it is and you make the retainer that fits what you've got right thin and you put that in and you don't take a chance of the teeth moving from where they are. And so you hold them that way. And so this is lined up good. And we've got a retainer going in here. And this is finishing it up. And I'm going to go through some. Uh, this was a Panorex, I mean a cephalometric uh, picture taken early on. And it's 87. There's the. Uh, cuspids coming in the, and the centrals had very short roots then and they ended up with short roots but we didn't 
caused them to go away further. Now, she had absolutely no area back there for the wisdom tooth to go in, and I didn't have any bad teeth in there. If we'd have lost teeth in there, we'd be simple to pull this forward and bring this in underneath there, and that's what I'm pushing for people to do more. And uh, here she is later on down the line, and this is 93, and this is the way the teeth look thin. And I think I've got some oh, thousand, uh, 2,000 shots. Uh, this was 99, and maybe that's the end of it. But, uh, well, there's 99, and the teeth are still holding in that uh, position. And everything's lined up. Okay. Uh, this is, I'll go back, this is making complicated stuff kind of easy to me, uh, but this is holding up good, and I seem like I knew this young lady, and she came back several years later, and her teeth still were very beautiful, and it, now this makes a difference in people's lives. It is so much easier putting these brackets on and there's so many advantages. So just thank the good Lord that you came along when you do brackets. Now I still like to band my molars because I load them up on both sides but that leaves me just a very small amount of band space in there to close up when I get through. So I'm going to say goodbye, and we've taken about 30 minutes here, and I hope you get something uh, from this case. It's, it's a wonderful case, has several advantages here, but brackets are far better than bands, and uh, if you wonder about them, uh, you're on the right thing if you have to get the brackets. Now, people try to make fancy, fancy brackets and say you can finish the case so much faster. Uh, some of this maybe have some little truth in, but uh, you can take a simple, pretty simple bracket and do virtually anything you want to with teeth. So... I'm going to sign off and say goodbye, and uh, I hope you will uh, uh, subscribe to our pro po uh, program, and I thank you very much for watching. I hope you get something out of this, 